Learn to make a hanging garden. The growing respect for the environment has increased interest in urban gardens. Those who live in the city still want to have healthier lifestyles. Because of this, we think that putting a hanging garden in our houses will help us to breathe cleaner air. Also, plants let you balance the energy in your home. They even absorb the radiation that comes from devices like computers or the television. But, how do you do this when you barely have space? The answer is in hanging gardens. By putting plants at different heights, you instantly have more space in your apartment. With this strategy, we solve that problem. But now what? Keep reading and we'll give you some beginning steps. How to make a hanging garden. What environmental conditions do you have? As you know, plants need a very stable habitat to live. So, there might be a variety that you like a lot, but it's incompatible with the environment you have at home. Following this strain of thought, the questions you need to ask yourself are related to Light There are plants that need many hours of sun. But, there are also other that burn in direct sunlight. It's necessary to take this factor into account before deciding what you're going to choose. Doing the opposite might make the task useless. Temperature Many people like bright colored flowers and flowing forms. However, the majority of these need a very warm climate. So, these things are more appropriate for Mediterranean and tropical climates. Humidity The amount of water you can give the plant is another thing to keep in mind. Remember that plants that need more water will cost more money in the long term, and plants that need less are more economical. How much time do you have? Time is important. The time that a person who works from home isn't the same as someone who spends their full day out of the house. All of them need to be tended to and taken care of. But, some need this more than others. As a result, the best thing to do is to choose the ones that fit your lifestyle in this sense. If you don't manage this well, you might end up frustrated by seeing that you can't keep your urban garden alive. As a result, we recommend that you don't give up on creating one but that you be realistic. Are you one of those people who likes to go out after work? Then don't lie to yourself. Don't think that you're going to give it up for the plants.
you have habits for a reason, they help you get over stress, to slow down, and finally, you lose yourself in them. If you don't want to turn this into another source of anxiety, make an honest schedule. Design a hanging garden. When we talk about the design, we're talking about how to hang them. This means what kind of support you use and what dirt you put in them. The characteristics are going to determine a large amount of these decisions. Your furniture, the layout of your rooms, the height of your ceilings and all of these plays a part in the structures that you choose. Keeping this clear is basic. This is because the size of your flower pots, their shape, as well as the kinds of plants you grow. For instance, if you have low ceilings, pots aren't a good idea. On the other hand, you also have to think about the risk system. For this, keep in mind where the water comes from, and, as we said, what your economic resources are. This way you can choose between drip, hydroponics, and fog and to know how you're going to water, you also need to pay attention to the kind of soil you're going to use. This is because its permeability indicates the amount of water that you need. Without a doubt, gardening is a wonderful hobby. And, above all, it's very sustainable. However, it can be the source of disappointment if you don't think about where you're starting from. This helps us to make better decisions, and as a result, to have more success in this adventure. If you follow the advice we've given, there's no doubt that you'll achieve it. However, if you have a doubt or worry about something we've talked about, don't hesitate to ask us.